friends, it's me, Simply Sherry, giving you weekly tips and tools for organizing, prepping, and travel. Today I have another Walmart stock up all, and these are spices and soups. Here's my price list written out, so I will be giving you the prices and the expiration dates. There are a total of 21 items. This was $101.33, so an average of $4.83 each. Now, for me, some of these prices were a lot, so definitely um, I will look at Costco and compare prices and decide for future hauls. I order on walmart.com and then I go there when the pickup is ready and then they just put in my car. I sit in my air-conditioned car. Uh, it's hot here in Phoenix, so that's why I do that. Plus, I have a running total of what um, this is going to cost me and I've just been trying to do it around $100. Okay, here we have Ramen Express brand chicken flavored um, ramen soup and it says here vegetarian. So I got two of these. These are two packs. And so I always have at least two of these um, 12 packs in my long-term pantry. And as far as expiration there, I don't seem to I don't see one so yeah let me know in the comments below or like is the expiration on the individual ramen doesn't expire and then a pack of 12 is two dollars and 38 cents now let's move on to this this is annie chan's pho soup bowl and it is vegan and uh, no gmo i got a bunch of these uh when my son was living in with us during the pandemic I got a whole bunch of these because um, he was vegan then and very easy to prepare. Also, let's check the expiration date is uh, next year. So, and um, they're, they're not the cheapest thing. It's $2.98, but they had all kinds of flavors. They probably have about five or six. So I got a whole variety of those and it was definitely something that um, he ate on a regular basis. So that's a good thing with a long-term pantry. Just obviously you get what you eat. You you buy um, things for your prepper pantry that you actually eat. So what I've been doing, as I mentioned in my last video, um, I've been looking at the stuff that was really hard to rotate into our um, regular pantry or just call it the pantry. And so those few things I've stopped buying but I'm adding to my long-term, the ones that we have proven to like and that we actually eat. Okay, so this pho, like I said, is $2.98 and it's pretty decent, it's okay. And then here for the kosher salt, uh, usually have at least two boxes of these ready to go. Uh, um, this is $3.12 and then the Himalayan pink salt, this is one pound, okay, in non-GMO vegan certified, like why would salt not be vegan? Okay, and then $6.53, that is a lot of money. So that was painful. So some of these things actually did cause me some pain, but it's stuff that I have to stock up on. And so most likely um, the kosher salt, uh, I like this size, and then I want to get uh, uh, the larger size salt and then obviously the pink salt. Definitely want to get more of that. We do go through that. Most likely I'll go to Costco for that next time. And then this Better Than Bullion from Walmart. They were each $4.28. Oh, oh wait, let's go back to this. Forgot to check the, they had any kind of, yeah. So salt is salt and no dates on there. Okay, best by December of 2026. All right. And then for these bullions, um, you can see the date right on top. That's perfect. Uh, April of 2024. And what you want to do is to take a permanent marker. I think I showed this in an old video, but I just take a per permanent marker and then I just write the date here write the date here. Wherever you're looking on top for me has been the easiest and I put it in the same spot versus 
if it's on the front, underneath, the back, the top, I just try to put them all on top, especially the canned goods, just put it on top. So I know where to look and it's easy to uh, reference. Okay, so I believe they have these at Costco. And what I found is that when I get those, because these have to be refrigerated once you open them. And they would just sit in my fridge for months. And so for me, the smaller bottle or the smaller jar works for us because of the amount that we use. And so um, I got the beef, the chicken, and the vegetable. And again, it's $4.28. And the expiration date, April of 2024, May, and then April. Let's go to the spices here in the back. You can see I have a table grind black pepper, which I'm not sure what that means, table grind versus ground. So I, I would just say ground pepper. I mean, it's not that grounded. You still probably could grind it more. Maybe that's what it means. Uh, parsley flakes, granulated garlic, lemon and pepper seasoning, crushed red pepper, and the Ortega uh, taco seasoning mix. And so you see I got all the great value brand because they were the cheaper one versus the name brand. As far as taco seasoning, I didn't see one that was the Walmart brand, so I got that. And... These are mainly the, about the, the same size containers. Okay, so you can see they're one pound, uh, 2.7 ounce. Oh, that's the weight, 76.5 grams, one, one pound, 10, 10 ounces, one pound, 10 ounces. Okay, I had that backwards. Uh, 12 ounces and one pound, eight ounces. The black pepper is $13.72. And I, I just found that pepper is, is just ex, it's just more expensive than I want it to be, especially because it's something I have to always get. And it's obviously not as cheap as salt, but anyway, $13.72. The parsley flakes is $5.76. Granulated garlic is $13.76. That was painful. Lemon and pepper, 618. Crushed red pepper, 637. And then the taco seasoning is 598. Now what I found is probably this pepper might last three months. Parsley flakes, about the same. These are all the, the seasonings that I use on a regular basis. Lemon and pepper, that might last four, maybe five months. But everything, I, uh, everything else I use regularly, uh, taco seasoning, I've never had that size. So I'm gonna see how long that lasts. We have tacos at least once a month, uh, maybe two times a month. Let's see if we can find expiration dates on this or best buy. Okay, no. Oh, here on top. Should have looked there first. Hi. Uh, I can't read it through the uh, May of 2025. May, oh no, April of 2025, May of 2025, lemon pepper. Hmm. They don't have one on this one. Interesting. Not there, not the front, not underneath. Not this size. Do you see it? Oh, here. Okay, sorry. Um used by December of 2023, May 2025. Let's just go to the back. Oh, where are you? Oh, here, really big letters. May of 24. So yeah, I mean, I'm gonna use these all within at least a year, if not six months, three months. Okay, for this, I think I had made a mistake. I meant to get two chili powders, because we use a lot of chili powder. I wanted to get a big one like that, but they didn't have it. And I probably accidentally got this instead, because I already have that much crushed red pepper. Anyway, this one is 584, right? And then that one is 637. So that's obviously a better buy, unless you're particular with this brand. And then for the dark chili powder, um, 477. Now, I don't know if this is marketing three times more than our 2.5 ounce. It's, maybe that just means you have more in one space, one bottle versus 
having to have three bottles. Okay, um, 477, was that April of 24? And this is, uh, it's hard to read, something of 24. Okay, I couldn't read that. All right, next one. Okay, I think it says 1024. Okay, basil and Italian seasoning. I got one each, uh, two each, and these are a dollar each. Um, 0.8 ounce, and then this is 0.95 ounce. Um, let's see, the expiration, April of 25. Same batch, April of 25, May of 25. Same batch, May of 25. I hope you enjoyed this Walmart stock up haul of spices and soups. Let me know in the comments below where you are getting your spices that you're stocking up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.